Steroid nasal sprays are commonly prescribed to treat inflammatory conditions of the nose and sinuses. If you've been prescribed one, it's essential that you know how to use it correctly. Today, I'll show you the correct technique to administer your nasal steroid. All you need is your nasal steroid, your nose, and a tissue. For full disclosure, in this video, our spray contains only salt water. Your spray may look slightly different to this one, but they generally all work in the same way. They're all metered dose pumps that aim to provide a fine mist of steroids to the area of the nose where they're needed. Priming your spray. You must prime your nasal spray before use, whether it's a new pump or you haven't used it in a while. Priming ensures that your spray is ready to deliver the correct dose of steroid each time you use it. To prime your nasal spray, hold it as shown, remove the cap and point it away from you. Give your spray a few pumps until you see a fine mist. Now it's ready to use. The first step is to blow your nose. This helps clear your nasal passages from excess mucus, helping your medication to have more effective contact with the nasal surfaces we wish to treat. Remove the cap and give your spray a shake. You want to tilt your head slightly forwards and starting with your left nostril, use your left hand to gently open the left nostril and use your right hand to direct the tip of the spray bottle out and slightly up. Imagine you're aiming the end of the spray towards the outer part of your left eye. It's essential that you use the opposite hand to the nostril being sprayed because this helps ensure that the medication is directed to the correct part of your nose. If you experience the sensation of the medication dripping out of the nose, a gentle sniff is all that's needed. Big snorts are a no-no. Finally, repeat as required to the other nostril. So where do people go wrong? The first one is the snort. After spraying, you may be tempted to take a deep sniff. This is a common downfall. Doing this sucks the medication away from the nasal lining and collects it at the back of your throat. It's common for patients who do this to say that they can taste the spray. Ultimately, if you can taste it, the medication is getting to the wrong place and it isn't doing much for your nasal passage. Small sniffs, of course, are okay, as we've discussed, and can prevent your medication from dripping out of your nose, but be gentle. Number two is the position of the nasal spray. We tend to want to position the tip of our spray upwards and inwards. Doing this ensures the medication isn't gonna get to the correct place. Our nasal passage run backwards and expand to the sides. So we want our medication to get there to be the most effective. Hence the importance of using the opposite hand to nostrils and aiming towards the outer corner of your eye. Spraying to the middle of our nose only treats the thin nasal septum, which can cause irritation and nosebleeds, something we want to avoid. And finally, number three, lack of consistency. Nasal steroids don't work immediately, and many patients lose faith and stop using this medication before it can take full effect. Nasal steroids can take up to three to four weeks of consistent use before you'll experience their full effects. So good luck with your nasal spray. Hopefully these tips will improve your experience with this medication. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.